Yo, I'm back. I got another video. This time it's an overpowered poison build. If you've seen bleed builds before or you're using one, you'll know when bleed procs it does a lot of damage. Well, this is basically the same concept except with poison and it constantly procs, especially if you're using the right equipment. I'll show you how much damage it does to some enemies and then I'll show you how to get the items and the build. Okay, to start the build, we've got Scavenger's Poison Curve Sword, and then Mushroom Crown for extra poison damage, then the main ones, Radagon Sorcio, which is just boosted stats, Kindred of Rot's Exaltation, which boosts poison damage, and I'm also using Lord of Blood's Exaltation, because it boosts bleed. Even though this build isn't based on bleed, if you're using the Curve Sword I show, then you will prop bleed if you're fighting a boss, as well as poison. So first I'm going to show you how to get the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. All you have to do is go into the cave shown on the map and defeat these two bosses. Okay, now that we've got that, you want to go to the Grand Cloister in the Lake of Rot. And then go to the right where I'm showing on the map right now. You just want to run through the lake. If you have the spell that I show, it's called Flame Cleanse Me. It's really easy to run through the Lake of Rot. It's extremely helpful. I recommend if you don't have it, you should definitely get it. All you have to do is if you have Scarlet Rot, it could be full or poison or anything. It just cleanses it and gets rid of it completely. Run around the corner and up the pillar. Just up this pillar here, cleanse yourself if you have it. Then there you go, that's the mushroom crown. Now to get the curve sword, just go to this location I'm showing right here, and it should be in front of this tent, it should be a dead body. And now for the last thing, the ash of war, poison moth flight. You want to teleport to where I'm showing right now pass the time till night and then run straight down the road and follow my path defeat the night cavalry and then you'll get it and that'll be the end of the video if you found any of this helpful please let me know if there's any questions please ask and thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed